You get back here, I'm gonna. Oh. I was gonna say, you get back here, I'm gonna kill you for scaring me, but you, you, you didn't. You, you, you were already turned around. Hello. Oh my god, is this just infinite apricot? Oh my god, this is just infinite food. Ah, this must be the sealed off way to the cellar. Obviously, I need to explore the housing situation. Hello. Lock from the other side. Yeah, I'll figure it out. What do we got up here? Oh, I found it. Well, I seem to be stuck now. Well, I had a good run. Oh wait, I can push this. Look at that. It's the only time I've ever had to do that in the game. So I can push this then? All right, so now I've done that. hate everyone and everything that ever existed forever. Alright, so now I've got this board here. I guess somehow that went I, I, okay. I guess I can get up here now. All right, uh, box. Oh, that's, that's lifting that. Okay. Look at that. Puzzles. I just clipped through the floor. That's fine. Can of food. Excellent. That's not where I climbed up from, but it does lead down to where I was, it looks like. So we don't need to bother with that. Ah, oh, not too long ago someone bled a lot here. Dave, I found you sleeping and preferred not to wake you up. I'm sorry to leave you by yourself here for all this time, but I can't do otherwise. Others would get suspicious. They heard you in your delirium, and they're still asking themselves where the shots are coming from. I hope the medicine that brought your, that I brought for you takes effect soon. I don't know when I'll be able to return, so I've left you the recipe and materials prepared to do if you need them. In the meantime, I hope you reflect on what we talked about. Believe me, the trials are a necessary evil, and once you enter to become a part of our community, you will feel like a new man. I put a lot of thought into it, and I've convinced myself that helping you is the right thing to do. As soon as you've got your strength back, I'll accompany you on your path for as far as I can go. Up to the area of resurgence. I know that's difficult, but I have faith in you. New recipe added. Restorative tonic. Slowly recover health. Ooh. Sure, make one. That sounds useful. Also, who's Dave? Dave's not one of my friends, is he? Dave is one of my friends. So Dave was getting medical attention down here from one of the villagers. I 
Like, I can't just... There's no way I just go back out the way I came, right? Some dude I know was in your cellar. <laughs> Probably dead now. Concerning what do you I managed to get into the cellar. Really? An injured man used it as a hideout, and one of you helped him. Oh really? So that's why my comrade moved away from the valley. Anyways, these matters are of no concern to you. I think I've earned your help. Well, yes. Ask me what you want. What can you tell me about this island? It seems like a world of its own. It is. And we're happy that it is. Out there, it is. they're not yet ready to embrace a socialist community such as ours. Okay. And what do you have to say about the dead bodies? You can't see further than your nose. Brother number one wants to re-educate you. You must merit your place in our community. Who is this brother number one? Who is it? It's the man who built all of this. He carved out a paradise for us away from the system. Why do you all wear bandanas over your faces? All men are born equal. The bandana reminds us that nobody is better than anybody else. I don't see how that works, but okay. I see you're all very quiet around here. We live in a place where the worker is valued. We are content with what we have. This community gives only good things to its adepts. By the okay. way, I think I'll get moving along now. I'll return to. Okay, saving. Hey, that's the high tower, I think. I'm trying to have to go into the cellar, my feet get wet, but I have to pass away if I don't want to get caught. Anyways, this won't go on for much longer. Soon he'll be able to walk again, but then what should I do? Everyone should have an equal chance at overcoming the trials. He's hurt and needs help. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. I can only imagine the trial has something to do with being dumped in a hole in the ground with a map and being told, hey, make it to the high tower. Strike first. Strike swift. Let no rats give you shit. So this person seems to have given Dave a little boost. Dave's got an advantage in the trials. There's climbing to be done. Apparently. Not Donald 
start there. Where do I start then? Where do I start? Come on. Where do I start? Here? No. I don't start inside, do I? Yes, I do, actually. Look at that. Dave, save me! Dave, save me! Okay, I'm fine. I was gonna say, so why can I climb up here? Ooh! Don't mind if I loot. Knee pads! Sick! Oh, look at me now, I'm fashionable. Reduce fall damage! Oh my god! That's amazing! Dave! There's still that locked door back there. I need to figure out how to open that. So I should save my progress with these knee pads because they sound like they'll be very useful. I need to go back to that house in the Apricot Valley. I need to figure out how to find how to get behind that locked door. Because I figured I'd probably find a way down below in the cellar, but I didn't. So there's got to be another way. Right? It's locked from the other side, which means there's got to be a way for me to get to the other side to unlock it. Mayhaps I can climb the outside of the building or something. Is there an upstairs? Pretty tall building. Maybe there's an upstairs. Hi! Don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself. I guess. Hey, bitch. I'm sorry that was rude, I don't know anything about your life. I probably could put my knife away, these people are friendly. Okay. Looks like there- yeah, it looks like there'd be a second floor, so... Unless if that's what's behind the locked door is the second floor. <laughs> Perhaps I can climb to the second floor somehow, then. <laughs> and diddly deed, I can! <laughs> Definitely some climbing to be done in this building. I should actually go looking. Maybe there is a way to the second floor. I'm just stupid. That's the cellar. Bathroom, locked door. So locked door definitely has to be the way to the second floor. That's gotta be the stairs. Climb up there? Anyway? Oh, if I jump off from up there! Of course! Oh, look! Uh, stronghold. 
safe haven. Excellent. Now I have that. So yeah, if I jump off of this ledge down here, I can get onto that roof, and then from that roof I can crawl through the window. Haha! -ha. Stealthy motherfuckers. And I can take the stairs down and lock this door. So I can get back up here easier. Lock from the other side. Now obviously I have to jump out the window. Jump out the one window to the other window? That window, yeah. Mm. That's gonna be a difficult leap. That way they know you mean business. Haha! <laughs> -ha! Also, I seem to have infinite stamina. Is anyone else seeing that? April 11, 1989. What a drag. Having to relocate is just a mess. We have to hurry because in two days we'll be leaving. It's decided I've been packing stuff by, up by myself for a week now. Mom and Dad are overloaded with work, and my little brother's are always on the hunt for adventure. The little goons acting like they're in that movie searching for the pirate ship treasure. Life can't be so carefree. Luckily, there was Delara and volleyball. Okay, my parents are pressuring me. I'm the big one. I do the packing. My little brothers, on the other hand, are free to f fuck around in the treehouse for as long as they want. Horseshit. The village things will change for sure, they say. That is a happy place. I can't wait to go. It's just so annoying that I'm responsible for all this packing first. I'll miss this house, but really, it won't be hard to get over. Last day, we can't wait anymore. I packed everything I could. Mom already said that for now. We can't take everything along. A few things will be left behind stored in the barn. Recap. Shoes. Check. Horror movie video tape collection. Check. Favorite bands. T-shirt. Check. Taking everything, but I couldn't find my volleyball, knee pads, nor my flute. I think my parents might have already packed them up without telling me. So meddlesome. Anyways, I've decided to leave my diary here. This way, whoever takes our place will remember that it was our. this was first home to a girl called Nure. Okay. Yeah, like, I have infinite stamina for some reason. I don't know if anyone's noticing that, too, but... The dog. The game seems to be broken in my favor currently, and I am okay with that. But yeah, I have infinite stamina. I do not get tired, ever, apparently. <laughs> Just come walking out of the house, swinging a knife. So what about a treehouse? Is there a treehouse nearby? I didn't see a tree house. I think that story lied to me. Whatever. Crack the code and open the locked door like a boss. There's the treehouse. Ew. Yep. Tree house. Babulas, today 
Gramps told us the story of Babulas. Babulas is an ogre who has lived on the island for a long time, even before Grandpa was born. He goes around secretly when it's dark with his owl on his shoulder. Grandpa says that when we hear an owl sing in the night, we can be sure it's Babulas. Grandpa says that if the children are naughty and don't obey, then mom and da their mom and dad, Babulas, comes and takes them away forever. Even Aaron was scared, but I don't believe it. I don't think Babulas is bad. He is only bad because nobody wants to play with him. So we decided to look for him. We found a strange hideout in the mountain. We think Babulas lives there, but he is never home. Grandpa says Babulas has many tr treasures, and he likes sparkly things. Maybe if we leave him a gift, then he will come back. Okay. Ah. That bizarre, outdated script. <laughs> Was right there the perfect generation to both learn cursive and to never need it again. <laughs> around here man there's a lot of boars but it sure ain't boring me, Nielsen. That's why I named my knife. Together we're gonna take on the world. The world has been defeated. thing to shout right after you get stabbed. <laughs> Said he had a hideout up in the mountains. Are they referring to this mountain? Which is apparently another branch of the mountain pass. Oh, the music got sinister. I need to... I'm gonna make a fire. I'm also gonna drink my water. A little dehydrated. Give me that hide. I don't know what the Babulus is, but I feel like it's probably not as much of a myth as, you know, Grandpa was thinking when he was telling it. Like, there might actually be something up here that lives at the top, up in the mountain. Tell it. Is this a place where I've been before? All these mountain pass areas look the same. Oh. Okay. 
okay. What's the purpose of it then? Oh, those gold coins. Fucking, if I, what if I actually bring gold coins up here? What if I actually bring the gold coins up here and leave them here? The shelter is isolated because the storage isn't shared. So if I go actually get those gold coins from my from my storage and I put them in there, maybe something will happen. This knife is pretty powerful. I've got this infinite sprit glitch going on for me. Don't know what triggered it, but man, is it useful. <laughs> ah, you fucker. Gotta get all the way back to the Apricot Valley, back to the house, back to the top, to the storage shed at the very top of the hill. Get out my gold coins, bring them back to here. The question is though, do I leave the coins here and sleep here, or do I leave the coins here and leave? Back up the mountain. Are you ready, Nielsen? We might have a fight on our hands. This is either going to be interesting or we're going to summon an ogre or it's going to all be a lie. You can't catch me. I literally never get tired for some reason. Catching food is so easy when you don't get tired.
Oh shit, I didn't mean to rest. Daddy, oh shit. what kind of knot is this? It's the Todd Line Hitch. It's one of the handiest all-purpose knots, especially useful when you go camping. You're the smartest daddy in the world! Fuck. To I meant to store the coins. Knot, you'll need a sharp-edged piece of stone or scrap metal. Why would I make a knife? Why don't we just bring one from home? The less gear you bring, the more intimate of an experience you'll have with nature. Also, you can't always rely on your gear as a safety net. To survive, you must learn to be creative and find solutions with the material you find around you. And that's why she already knows how to make a knife. Okay. So glad I just wasted the rest. I guess I'll just craft the fire and save it up here, and tomorrow we'll have to see if my uh, attempts led to anything. See?